Ova. 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 Boston Sea here, Boston Sea. Above the sun.io, above the sun.io. Living above the sun. What's going on, Luminator? Bright, shiny ones. Can spot you a mile away. Juggernauts. Powerful. You're unstoppable. Benevolent determinators. Observers. Participating. Oracles, legislators, taking care of business. Living from the inside out. Staying in the up here. Above the sun. While we do what we do here below the sun. But a love of light, what's happening here below the sun? What's going on? Today, Friday, October 25th. Did you vote early? Boston C, did you vote? Yep, Boston C winner. Get it out of the way. Keep your head down. Who'd you vote for? It's none of your business. Right? No voting integrity? Question mark. No character? Question mark. No election? Question mark. There's only going to be four outcomes. That's it. Just let it play out. We'll play the hand that we're dealt. You think we're going to microwave ourselves out of malevolent corruption that exists everywhere. Every systemic institution. Red, blue, green, yellow. Mm, mm, mm. Anyhow, Boston C not having a go, but there's the there's the election update. Stop taking in the stuff. All right? Just zip it. Wake up the next day. Keep breathing. Keep framing. Keep birthing. All right? What do you say we are uh, just taking a little bit of, hey, biology of belief. Dr. Bruce Lipton, good man. I think it was season uh, episode one, season seven. This is free energy. When I post this stuff, it's your free energy. Oh, you didn't know that. You didn't know you were rather energetic. Yeah, electromagnetic, plasmatic. Yeah, 50 trillion cells. Each cell is a mini you. It's a lot of you. Yeah. Learning some good stuff here. I love it. This is new science, spiritual intelligence. All right, so we've got a quick, uh, what do we got? One, two, yeah, page on that, two pages. It's a short one today, right? The origins of life. Smart cells get smarter. Wait a minute. My 50 trillion cells are smart? Yeah, Boston C. They're a lot smarter than you, bro. All right, well, they're in me so I can work with them, right? Oh, yeah. Nice. It shouldn't be surprising that cells are so smart. Single cell organisms were the first life forms on this planet. Fossil evidence reveals that they were here within 600 million years after the Earth was formed. Could be 100 here, 100 million here, whatever. 
600 million sounds good. For the next 2.75 billion years of the Earth's history, only free living, single celled organisms, bacteria, algae, and amoeba like protozoans populated the world. We still have a lot of bacteria and algae and amoeba like protozoans. They're in people. Yeah. Anyhow, around 750 million years ago, take a few mil, these smart cells figured out how to get smart. When the first multicellular organism, plants and animals, appeared. Multicellular life forms were initially loose communities or colonies, single-celled organisms. They're a colony. 50 trillion bros hanging out in you. Gotta be thankful for that, right? At first, cellular communities consisted of from tens to hundreds of cells. But the evolutionary advantage of living in a community soon led to organizations comprised of millions, billions, even trillions of socially interactive single cells. Oh, that's amazing. Kind of like social media, right? A little bit here. Though each individual cell is of microscopic dimensions, size of multicellular communities may range from the barely visible to the monolithic. Biologists have classified these organized communities based on their structure as observed by the human eye. While the cellular communities appear single entities to the naked eye, a mouse, a dog, a human, they are in fact highly organized associations of millions and trillions of cells. Let's get us cooperating. Let's cooperate. What do you need? You need some love. Love themselves. Be sweet. Love you. Loving you. Loving themselves. The evolutionary push for even bigger communities is simply a reflection of the biological imperative to survive. The more awareness an organism has of its environment, the better its chances for survival. Are you aware of your environment? Do you realize you're an environment? How's your environment doing? Right? You're worried about everybody else's environment. How about your environment? Think about that, right? The more awareness an organism has of its environment, the better its chances for survival. When cells band together, create a band. Rock on. When they band together, they increase their awareness exponentially. If each cell were to be arbitrarily assigned an awareness value of X, then each colonial organism would collectively have a potential and awareness value of at least X times the number of cells in the colony. In order to survive at such high densities, the cells created structured environments smart, wicked smart. These sophisticated communities subdivided the workload. How did they know how to do that? Because it's encoded from the unseen. It's not hard. It's not hard. These sophisticated communities subdivided the workload with more precision and effectiveness than the ever-changing organizational charts that are a fact of life in big corporations. You're a corporation. It proved more efficient for the community to have individual cells assigned specialized tasks in the development of animals and plants. Page and a half left. Cells begin to acquire these specialized functions in the embryo. The process of cytological specialization 
enables the cells to form the specific tissues and organs of the body. Over time, this pattern differentiation, the distribution of the workload among the members of the community, became embedded in the genes of every cell in the community, significantly increasing the organism's, organism's efficiency and its ability to survive. That's why you got to cooperate your spirit as a soul with this love technology machine. It's all got to work together. It's up to you. You control your deal, your own unique dimensional reality. Get in the game. Let's go. In larger organisms, for example, only a small percentage of cells are concerned with reading and responding to environmental stimuli. That is the role of groups of specialized cells that form the tissues and organs of the nervous system. The function of the nervous system is to perceive the environment and coordinate the behavior of all the other cells in the vast cellular community. So maybe perceive an environment of all as well. And you work together to create that environment of all is well. All will be well. You getting it? Your four brains? It's starting to make sense, right? Oh yeah, new science. In the mystical, here it comes. Ready or not. Division of labor among the cells in the community offered an additional survival advantage. The efficiency it offered enabled more cells to live on less. Consider the old adage, two can live as cheaply as one. Well, consider the construction costs of building a two bedroom single home versus the cost of building a two bedroom apartment in a hundred apartment complex. To survive, each cell is required to expend a certain amount of energy. The amount of energy conserved by individuals living in a community contributes to both an increased survival advantage and a better quality of life. Right? You're getting all this, right? You know it's making sense. Your body is vibrating a little bit, right? The water, the plasma is like, whoa, sound good. In American capitalism, Henry Ford saw the tactical advantage in the differentiated form of communal effort and employed it in creating his assembly line system of manufacturing cars. Before Ford, a small team of multi-skilled workers would require a week or two to build a single automobile. Ford organized his shop so that every worker was responsible for only one specialized job. We only have one job. Love big love, practice love and big. Before Ford, a small team of multi-skilled workers would require a week or two to build a single automobile. Ford organized a shop so that every worker was responsible for only one specialized job. He stationed a large number of these differentiated workers along a single row, the assembly line, and passed the developing car from one specialist to the next. The efficiency of Jaws specialization enabled Ford to produce a new automobile in 90 minutes rather than weeks. Right? Once you get awake, you don't have to take it the rest of your life. You can get caught up pretty quick in hours. You'll know more than it takes others. It took them years. It's amazing. Fortunately, we conven conveniently forgot about the cooperation necessary for evolution when Charles Darwin emphasized a radically different theory about the emergence of life. He concluded 150 years ago that living organisms are perpetually embroiled in a struggle for existence. For Darwin, struggle and violence are not only a part of animal, human nature, but the principal forces behind evolutionary advancement. And the final chapter of the origin of species by means of natural selection or the preservation of favored races and the struggle for life. 
just outraged by it. Darwin wrote of an inevitable struggle for life and that evolution was driven by the law of nature from famine and death. Couple that with Darwin's notion that evolution is random and you have a world as poetically described by Tennyson that can be characterized as red in the tooth and claw, a series of meaningless, bloody battles for survival. It's a lie. You've been lied to, companions. Yep. That's why the malevolent corrupt your bones. They think they got it. Mm -mm -mm. Toast finished. Let's stop right there. What's the next one? Next subchapter: Evolution without the bloody claws. Yeah, we'll read that. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow. Read books. Do your own research. You can know everything there is to know about everything. There's a lot to know. How much do you know? How much don't you know? You know everything? Oh, so you don't know everything. So no matter how much you, mo you know, there's an infinite amount more to know. Which means you don't know how much more there is to know anyways, which means you just don't know much at all. But don't you love knowing what's happening at the nano realm, the quantum realm, cellular, right? Half of 1%, what is physical? 99.9% of the universe is like plasma. Oh, and the plasma is intelligent. Oh, stuff's going on that you can't see it's all around. You're amazing. You're unique. You were created for purpose. It's time to engage. It's time. No fear. Not the fearless or the fearful energetic artificial reality. How about the fearless? That are the fearful. Get that fearless, energetic, authentic reality. That's who you are. This body's amazing. What it does, what it's going to do in the future, what you can do. Got a left brain and a right brain, don't we? Up in your head brain? Why is like a, a lot of companions like living on one half? And they get stated. Why don't you take a field trip on the other side of your, your head? Right? The analytical, the creative. So good. Imagination, desire. Benevolent intentionality, staying in power, can unlock mysteries, secrets, and riddles. Why you're here, why we're here, where we're headed. It's all good. All right? We'll get past the election. It's only 4 0 comes. Either your team wins or don't, or whatever the outcome, it's delayed. Hang and chat, but well, there's no election. But you know what? There's a lot of benevolent determinators on the scene and in the unseen. We're all surrounded. The universe is for you and not against you. But there is concretely bad ones that are using humans with their consent, without their consent, so we're here to take care of this business from the inside out. Strive 
drive in our own lane, take out our own trash every day, right? So then we can help other people. It's all good. Kuna Matata, no worries. All right? All right, Boston C, gonna let you go. Boston C, love you. Stay in the way, stay in the path. Until next time, Boston C, up and away.